Welcome to our annual uh, celebration and preview of new Christmas things. Teresa Welch has been working for the last several months getting all of these projects ready. And we're starting this week with a brand new winter collection. It's, it's just beautiful. So pretty. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. I always wish we had fanfare because here they are. They're just beautiful. We're going to get into the papers yep, in a second. Just a little at a time. Okay. Okay. And there you go. We'll Thank put that. You. So Winter's Butterfly is the name of this collection. And of course, it's hot off the press, so you're going to get ideas right with your purchase of the papers. Card making right there, scrapbooking, and even more on the other side. Kind of kickstart your creativity. And whoops, whoops there's a leaf. There's a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the first sheet. They're just beautiful, just wintry. And the whole idea is that um, butterflies are winter snowflakes. <laughs> and it, isn't that a beautiful? It, it is surprising to see that, but once you see the color combination, yeah. it just matches perfectly. And as you can see, it looks like the edges have been sanded. That's just fine. The graphic designers did that for you. Right. The other, these are double-sided. You're going to get 12 sheets. These are 80-pound paper, not cardstock. We like to keep it light so that when it goes on a scrapbook page or in an album or on a card, it's not going to weigh everything right. down. So all over pattern with those snowflakes, an all over pattern with the butterflies. In and combination with those snowflakes, yeah, exactly. which is wonderful. And then we have kind of a frosty look and it's actually goes a little bit darker on the edges. Let me go down there. Nice, so. there's a nice like a scuffing, a little yeah. bit of shadow. And there is a corner treatment, mm. opposite corners, you can see with the purple. And it's not just a flat purple, we really don't do that. We always do, you kind of have this modeling, and again, it's darker toward the edges, lighter toward Plus the center. Plus there's Swiss dots all over there, it's hard to see from a distance, yeah. but it's just beautiful. And then uh, the last one of the one side, you can see just a mixture of tiny butterflies, large snowflakes. And then, of course, there are papers on the other side that tend to be all over pattern although I do see this one that has really pretty corner treatment <laughs> on the snowflakes so you can see all of those and to go along with it ribbons whoops, you want that out ribbons <laughs> beautiful ribbons you're going to get 12 of each 36 inches I mean 12 in the set 36 inches each and you get so many different kinds nice wide crepes you get a glimmer several different crepes in there sheer stitched even this nice velvet glitter and you know painstakingly picked really to match perfectly with those uh, papers and then we have dazzles now these are the larger eight by nine sheets you're going to get two of them and they're 146. Now we put these, actually Lori put these on black cardstock just so we could show them to you a little bit easier. They are the um, silver, uh, silver pearl, pearl with right. silver foiling yeah. on the edges. You can see borders, words, and all the embellishments. It, it, it's just covered with yeah. butterflies and snowflakes. I love those borders, always six inches, and you can combine them to go all the way across the page. Oh, just oh so pretty. Right. And we're not done. So we also <laughs> have buttons that match this collection perfectly. This is from the 28 Lilac Lane collection. You're, and this one is actually called On Lilac <laughs> Lane. Um, it has nice shades of purples and lilacs in there, obviously a little bit of pink, but always buttons. And you can see beads, sequins, there are even some nice colored pearls in there. And you're gonna see some beautiful uses for these. And there's also a set, I only have one to show you here, a set of gorgeous Botanica blooms, and this comes in purple. You're gonna get four in that set. You'll see more on the projects. And yeah, we'll show them to Speaking you as we of go which, along. Let's get into them. This is our first, and we've got two versions of this. So what I love to see is with that 12 by 12 paper, you can actually get four cards out of every sheet. Absolutely. And nice to see this one, is using, uh, well, they're both using the dazzles on right. top. This one also has the pearls that are from the, uh, the button collection. Right. And um, just beautiful to see the difference. It is. And starting with backing that butterfly, and I wanted to point out, when you back these, if you want to back them in two different uh, colors, two different papers, you're going to start with that centerpiece. So I've got that butterfly, and I placed it on that light blue. And then as I go along, I start lifting the wings of here 
and cutting around the edges behind that. I did that part of the way around here. So I was just lifting and cutting. And as you can see, my scissors will go right underneath there, cutting around the edges of that opening. And you, you can just, you, it's, it's nice that the dazzles will actually just lift off of the paper, and then you can put it right back down again and they'll stick in place. So you so press there. down the area that you want to back. Right, and then so lift now up that's the other. stuck on there, okay. and then I take that piece, place it on the next color paper, and cut around the edges of that. Very easy to back in two different colors. So that's what was done here, and just beautiful. You can see the snowflake on the center of the butterfly. Right. And um, I think it's also interesting that adding a dazzle over the the, uh, the artwork. artwork. Yes. Exactly. That's and a, just a really easy way to yeah. make a nice statement. So you kind of see before and after, and very fun to always add buttons and add some twine in the center Beautiful. of those. So the inside of this one has just a really nice area so you can do your, your message. Right. And this has also been using the uh, metallic paper, the silver in this case. Right, so, so you've got a nice edge yeah, for that. But beautiful right. looks, two different really looks well. for the same area on a piece of paper. And scrapbookers, I know sometimes mm -hmm. you don't get so many projects, but this time you're getting several. And this is our first, and this comes straight from the Paper Wishes catalog, so you'll be seeing that. And again, you're seeing that same border paper mm -hmm. here but now it's used in its entirety I love the idea of just cutting several of those papers and turning them at odd angles behind the photo so you can see all of those colors and also there's a piece of vellum that's been added so it gives that translucent look which right. works so Makes well it kind of nice and light on the dazzles they've actually been backed separately we might want to get in a little close on that one and so back the large one in the back on purple, back the small one on blue, and then stack them on top of each other with foam tape. While we're in close, let's look at the button collection, because I think that's just a really pretty collage of those elements and adding dazzles on top right. since you'd have them. Lacing the buttons with a little bit of mm -hmm. uh, strips of paper, that's pretty. And uh, this is really fun. So these strips of paper, you know, you talked about that coming from beneath, adding the dazzles on top, and there's some of those beautiful blossoms right. that there's we've two added. Of them. So within the set, you can see they actually have a, kind of two different colors a little bit right. in one set. Right, they do. And then we've got a trail of butterflies and snowflakes going up the edge of our photographs. A so, beautiful yes. wintry look, even with butterflies. I mean, it's surprising, but it works really well. It does. We'll back up, just give you one more look at the whole thing. And then I'll bring in another scrapbook page. Hooray! Hey. And here it is. You can see this is on the one that had the two corners. And this, the butterfly has been backed on holographic paper. Right. Surprise! So first you want to do that center on paper, just backing the center, and then the entire butterfly on the purple circles holographic paper. Just beautiful, such a nice uh, extra shine it on there. It is, now you could do the whole thing on the holographic and that's what's been done with this snowflake. So you can right. see really pretty, it just adds extra pop. Even right. though it's a circles right. uh, holographic, it works beautifully. So far, two very different looks mm -hmm. from the same papers. And you can see adding the dazzles into those swirls and this is another use for those borders, is to let them go onto the edge of a photograph. That's a nice idea. Like yeah. That. Okay, we've got another one, three, okay, hooray! <laughs> so this is yet another look, and you can see where that icy blue is coming in. Kind of hard to think about when we're sitting here sweltering, <laughs> but, but it's I coming. Love, I love taking these photos and matting them on cardstock, then on silver metallic paper. So you got that something, metallic, huh? right, that's something that ties in with those beautiful dazzles. And yeah, just icy look of the putting photos. some of the buttons <laughs> on top of the dazzles, just some really beautiful looks, the pearls as well. I like the swirl going underneath the photograph. I think right. that's just really, again, a nice edge. It goes at the bottom here, and up here it goes at the top, so nice. And the snowflake venting cut off, sometimes you think that, oh, you don't want to do that, but it works perfectly. Right. 
Okay, now we're okay. going to get back into cards. Okay. And we've talked about the great big pieces of paper, but here if you want to cut them down into one inch squares, this is what they would look like. And I just think that's a great design. It's yes. like a small uh, quilt sampler oh, right yeah. there. And I, and I want to say, I think it's a little bit difficult to show on camera that dazzle sitting on top of it. It's, yeah, there, there we go. Thank we can you, sort of show it a little better when we zoom in on it, that it really sits on there nicely. And there are thin lines dazzles that were used in between. Ah. Between, right on the seams of those papers. That's a really fun look. That really is. Now this is a design that boy you really want to pay attention to because you can use it anytime, anytime. with any collection any, of papers. Absolutely. So you can get so many different colors and looks with that. Just that design alone. Teresa and, is just kind of a genius. And you know <laughs> those of you out there who cannot part with little pieces of paper you know who you are. Well this is a way you can actually use them. Let me open it up and you can see there's another Another one on the inside, Fun. kind of different colors. So softer, more the same tone, going a little bit richer on the inside. So very neat. Now Teresa has done this card, and I just you can see the sparkly. Well, we're into a sh well, we're always into shine, I yeah. guess, and glitter. <laughs> but she did use the glitter dust spray just to give a really nice finishing touch. That's and really simple, and you can just do that when your card is all done. Yeah. Just spray it a little with that. But I also love the doilies in the back. So these aren't actually from the paper collection. And there's two. There there's are two, two two different sizes that she used of the white doilies. So this is the six inch round and the four inch round. Now, okay, and I said white doilies. You did say white yet doilies. Purple and but, blue but, there. Yeah. So she, Teresa took one of the doilies. She's got some of the Cat's IQ, the color box um, ink set, pigment inks, and she just went ahead and colored them. Let's see, I think on this one, let's try this. And really simple to do. You just want to go around like that. Okay, so I'm almost done. I'm a quarter of the way done. How many seconds was that? Right, <laughs> not many. So it goes really, and by right. the way, these Cat's IQs are an exclusive to Paper Wishes, right. so you won't find them anywhere else, which right. is true about so, so many things. You could go ahead and finish that. She actually dried it with a heat gun because pigment ink can take a little longer can. to dry than, than other inks, but then when you're done, go ahead and layer those on your card. And did it with two of them. Again, the idea of letting them go off the edge, and these are new dazzles that you'll see uh, later this week, and again, there's our butterfly. And on the inside, uh, just the white doily. And isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Very, very nice. A very Happy beautiful holidays. look. Yeah. Nice combinations with these papers. Now, speaking of butterflies and um, seasons, okay. here is a brand new butterfly window. Now, looking at this, you can see there's this great big oval and there's some other butterflies. Right. And what you can do with those, were you going to show? Well, I was going to show <laughs> what you get with that window. Because what it's going to do is it's going to cut the area that you see inside. It's not going to cut that outer. That was all I had that piece and I just right. ran through the cutting die. So it doesn't cut this entire piece out. It just cuts out that window. Yeah, so it cuts all unique. the oval that you were pointing to. It just doesn't cut this rectangle. Right. So yeah. this is the piece and then you can you can put that on any size paper that you can get through your die cutting machine right. and you'll have that window cut in the center. It also cuts these great little uh, shadows so I can place that right behind ah. the butterfly and get a nice shadow back there. Once nice. that's on the card, you'll see in just a moment what that looks like. Okay, so here's there Teresa's take on that using the winter's butterfly papers and she did add dazzles on top and snowflakes are winter's butterflies that's kind of our theme so they fit perfectly with the dazzles this collection it fits perfectly with that cutting die with those butterflies i love that look and then on the inside she used the merry christmas cutting die so that's and another one and she used yeah. that with the pearl sheets now they're self-adhesive right. So you might want to use something like uh, the, um, I can't remember the name of it now, the embossing mat, there's a, hmm. The texture mat? Well, okay, the texture, <laughs> no, no, that's not the right one. Okay. It's the, the metal one, the platform. Oh, the platform, okay. Right. The embossing um, platform. And like you said, <laughs> these come in eight by nine sheets, they're pearl, and they are self-adhesive, so that makes it easy, and right. gold, and, it comes as a collection of gold and silver, which you'll see. 
I have to tell you, I think this cutting die is just drop dead gorgeous. It's beautiful in person, and Teresa's used the Winter's Butterfly. This gives you a little more contrast just right. to see what's going on. And that's using our new Romantique collection. Yeah. But within that cutting die set, you're also getting a corner cutting die. You get a corner cutting die. You ah. get a tiny little a tiny little butterfly, <laughs> which I haven't seen on here yet. Right. You get that window, so you're getting uh, four pieces within that set. And that's kind of the nice thing. You can do it for year round, or you can go holidays with right. it. Right. So that's a wonderful way to kind of cost populated. Right. And so you can see why we are so excited about our new winter's, winter's butterfly, butterfly collection because it's not just for Christmas; it's for winter too. Right. <laughs> passed into July or, or I mean January, yeah, January. <laughs> which is around the corner <laughs> and we'd like if you're watching us on YouTube we'd like you to please like us comment and subscribe for goodness sake subscribe. and we'll see you tomorrow for an, our second day of our right. week of webisodes lots more wonderfulness